everyone to Percussion Works. We're continuing our beginner series, uh, this time for the guido. Uh, this instrument, they call it minor percussion. In this country, they call it minor percussion, but in Cuba, in Puerto Rico, in Venezuela, Panama, other Latin American countries, this is not a minor minor instrument. This is, takes a, a, a huge part within the uh, within the band, within the Latin music, and within the within the Latin percussion ensemble, these uh, pieces that we're playing here. Okay, guido. Normally, this is made out of a gourd, okay? And uh, this one is made out of uh, synthetic plastic. These things are indestructible. The gourd ones aren't. The gourd ones have a great sound. And the gourd ones are how they originally made. They hollow them out. And, and they have a great sound. They put these ridges on it. So you get that sound out of it. Same thing with the gourd ones. But they're very fragile. Okay, they break very easily. So that's why these synthetic ones that are made out of plastic, they're indestructible. Put them in your gig bag, they won't come out in pieces like the gourd ones do. I have a couple of gourd ones that were made by my father many years ago in Puerto Rico. And... Oh, they sound amazing, but I don't, they, I don't touch them. I, very rarely do I play them. I'm just afraid that they, they're very uh, uh, sentimental to me and I don't want them to break. So this thing, gig with it, throw it in your gig bag, pull it out, awesome. So anyway, this instrument is normally played by the guys up front, uh, the singer, chorus, the guy who sings the chorus. They normally play these, you'll see them playing up, uh, up front because, hey, they can sing and play the instrument at the same time. It's great. You can fill a band more. Also, this particular instrument, this and the maracas, they are very important in a smaller group setting, what they call a conjunto, because a conjunto, nine times out of ten, does not bring timbal. It just brings conga, bongo, maraca and guido okay so this can take the place of timbal you can actually play the cascara like you would here on a timbal here so if you don't have a timbal player that singer up there can can kind of uh, uh do that and to fill in the whole percussion sound nine times out of ten they're playing this particular rhythm on it okay i'm gonna play it now for you and then I'll break it down. One, two, three, four. Okay. I play it at a pretty quick tempo, but if you play it in a slower song, like a ballad or bolero, what they call a bolero, it will be a little slower. Now I'm going to break down the notes that you're playing. All the notes that you're playing are downbeats. Okay. Upbeats. Here for the drag, and that's it. So one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. The upbeat is the drag, where you hear that sound, that cool sound. So one, two, and three, four, and one. So one, the end of one, pretty much. You're coming up. One, two, and three. So one, two, and three. So one and three on the upbeat, you're coming up. One, two, and three. Four and three. Two and three. Four and three. Two and three. Four and three. Two and three. Four and three. Okay? So all it is is a downbeat and the drag coming up. Always count it. I always like to count it because, again, any instrument you play, try to count and get into the habit of counting. Because if you play with a band leader and he has a chart for you, even if you don't know how to read the chart, you can at least count the measures until the next uh, section comes or something like that. It really, really helps. Okay? Also, when you guys are playing together and your friends are playing together and you want to trade fours or trade eights, what does that mean? That means you're trading four bars, four bars or eight bars. You have to be able to learn to count those eight bars, no? Do the same thing here. So in my head, I'm counting. 
As you're doing it, you're counting the bars. Now, we can do this faster and we can do it slower depending on the type of the music, okay? So now, I hope you got that there. Have, if you have any questions, uh, get uh, of course, uh, just put them in the comments, any questions about this particular instrument. Uh, that's pretty much the basic rhythm that they play on that. Of course, you could play cascara on it. You could also use it for special effects on your recordings, your video recordings or whatever. You'll hear a lot of this in movies and, 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 and uh, on the uh, soundtracks of movies and stuff like that. You'll hear a lot of that, you know, because it's a good special effects uh, instrument. Anyway, I hope this helps. You have any questions, like I said, like and subscribe, please. Uh, also, um, doing a lot of lessons online now with uh, what's been going on lately. I've been uh, teaching online. So if you're interested in that, please email me. Uh, the lessons are very reasonably priced and I've been doing most of my students online now because of what's going on, or pretty much all of my students, I should say, uh, because of what's going on. So please email me, comment if you have any uh, questions about, or if you wanna hear something, a different pattern, maybe a different instrument, something like that, please comment. Okay, guys, until the next video, God bless you, and we'll see you soon.